This video is gonna be sick. There is so much sickness and flu going around right now, so I'm going to explain to you the origins of a few sick words. This is a sickness of the highest order. So grab a tissue, blow your nose, because your mind's about to be blown. Gesundheit! The origins of the word sick remain somewhat shrouded in mystery, possibly dating back to the Proto-Indo-European root word sukas. But beyond that, its etymology remains elusive. On the other hand, the term flu offers a more intriguing history. Initially appearing in 1839 as flu, with the e on the end, in the writings of the poet Robert Southey, flu is a shortened form of the word influenza. The word influenza finds its root in the Italian, where it translates to influence. This term, in turn, stems back to the medieval Latin influencia and the Latin verb influere, meaning to flow in or to flow. It's very interesting that the earliest usages of this word influence has astrological connotations. Back in the 14th century, there was an Italian phrase, influenza di stelle, the influence of the stars. Some believe that celestial bodies emitted a fluid or ethereal force that flowed into individuals, shaping their lives, characters, and destinies. The belief in this celestial influence was deeply ingrained in the worldview of many ancient societies. For instance, astrologers would study the position and alignment of stars and planets at the time of someone's birth to determine their personality traits, future events, and potential challenges in life. This practice, known as astrology, was widely practiced and believed to reveal the influence of cosmic forces on an individual's fate. So the word flu, influence, influenza, influencia, originally had this astrological meaning. It was passive. Something was being done to you. Like how we say that someone is under the influence of alcohol. It was only in the 16th century that influence came to have the more active sense of the power to produce effects on those around you, of being an influencer. When you spread sickness to others, you are influencing them for the ill. Sickness is flowing out of you and into them, and vice versa. They did not know about disease until the white man came. Oh, shit! <sighs> to have the flu means that you were infected by the influenza virus. In fact, it's from the Latin in and facere, to do, to make, to put. So to infect is to put something in. To be infected, something was put into you. And that something is a virus. A virus, at least in the Latin, originally meant mm. poison, or a slimy liquid, or even an offensive odor or taste. It comes from the Indo-European root, visa, or the ancient Greek, eos. All of these mean poison. Coincidence? You decide. Eventually in the 1800s, a virus was thought to be more along the lines of something the body produces when you have a disease. It was not the cause of the disease, but the effect of being sick. It was only in the age of that renowned chemist and microbiologist, Louis Pasteur, in the 19th century, that virus was used in the modern sense of a sub-microscopic infectious agent that makes us sick. One of these viruses is the coronavirus. Everyone by now should know that corona comes from Latin, meaning the Mexican beer. Corona means crown or wreath, as in a coronation. It's coronation day. The coronavirus's spike protein looks like spikes on a crown on the surface of the virus. Those little spikes sure look nasty. I wonder if they do any damage inside. Hmm. Mystery. When someone is sick with a virus, it usually causes a group of various symptoms which consistently occur together. This is called a syndrome. Syn is Greek for together. Drome is from the Greek dromos for running, or dromos, race course. So syndrome is a group of symptoms that usually run together. One classic symptom of a stomach flu is nausea. Nos is the Greek word for ship, which is where we get the word nautical. It's how you feel when you're seasick. You tend to throw up. Louis, are you feeling all right? Uh, just a little seasick, that's all. I'm gonna throw this up. Please consider giving this channel a booster by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. It feeds the YouTube algorithm. Now you're wise to the words. Try not to be a bunch of sickos. Okay? Just don't get sick. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Just say no. Nope. Not gonna do it. I'm sick and tired, I should go.